Yeah, hello. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 3x3 piston door. This one isn't a normal one, however. It is a vault door because it has a little indent. So it's a 3x3 vault door. But it's also got a really cool animation. Probably one of the prettiest doors. And so its official name is a 3x3 spiral vault door, but you know, it's kind of long. But it's just a normal door. You walk on through, visit your baby squid, and just walk back out. And so the problem with this door is on the other side, it is one-sided. As you can see, it's not as pretty on this side. But I do have a double-sided version, which is just the exact same door with another layer added. So let's go check that one out. Here is the double-sided version of the 3x3 uh, vault door. As you can see, the animation is exactly the same. However, you can't see the other side when it's opening, so it kind of ruins it in my opinion. But I can show you guys that it is double-sided and you can open and close it from both sides. So let's just get on with the tutorial. Here are the items you will need to make this door. This is pretty much everything you will need for the one-sided door. If you want to make it double-sided, you will have to add on an extra 8 sticky pistons and 3 observers. So let's just get started. To start off, we're going to want to pick a spot for the center of the door and go two blocks off the ground. Now, then you're going to build a 3x3 frame like this. So this is where the door will be. As you can see, this is the 3x3 and it will close up like this. And there will be an indent right there. So I'm going to start off with the one-sided version and then we're going to start off, uh, then we're going to go to the double-sided afterwards. So we're going to build another layer like that and then we can begin. We're going to first start with putting in the pistons. So. Where the very center is, you're going to put one sticky piston facing straight up into the center. Go to the sides, and we're going to put two of them pointing like that. Do the same thing on this side. Two sticky pistons, and on top, we're going to have three of them pointing straight down. Okay? And then for the final part, you're going to go right down to the middle, the back side of it, and put down two sticky pistons. That is our piston layout. We are going to start off with the green circuit that controls the bottom double piston. So on the right side of this piston right here, you can place a block right there and go back another two. And then we're going to go diagonal from where this block is. One. And then we're going to place another block right there. So it'll look like that. Redstone dust here in a little L shape. Up on the upper layer, we're going to put a repeater that points into the iron block and a redstone torch right here. Now we're going to take a lever, place it on this block right underneath the redstone torch. We can turn it on now so that it'll turn off everything. And then on the left side of the torch or the lever, we're going to place a redstone lamp. Take your observers. And from the redstone lamp, we're going to go back three observers, one towards the back. And from this one, we're going to point it back into the, obser or the pistons, place a block here and right above it. Take your observers again. Point another one straight into this red so uh, right into this block. It'll look like this. You can test it. As you can see, it'll go all the way up to the center. But it doesn't finish because we need the rest of it. Okay, now for the blue circuit, we're going to go to the right side above these two redstone dust. Place an observer there. And two like that. Take your block, place it above this observer. And then a note block on the left of it. If you hold shift now, you can place an observer pointing straight up from the note block. Block here. Block right in front of it. Some dust here. And we're going to go block on the right, two blocks like that, right next to the redstone dust. Take your repeaters, place one here and here. Block there. Now you can put a block in front of this repeater, like that. And then take your observers again. So we're going to go up two or three like that and we're going to put one pointing straight down above this piston you'll see that it'll just power like that and diagonal to this one another two observers I don't know how else to explain that but then you're going to put a block underneath this observer and a block right here take your redstone dust place one here 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 and here you see any blocks that are sticking out like this just break it and place it in front of the sticky piston now if you hit the lever you can see that that is the spiral door and we just have one last part go underneath this blue block on the left side you'll see where this observer is 
and we're gonna put a normal piston pointing straight down just like that and then it should work there you go there is the 3x3 three three spiral vault door now I'm gonna show you guys how to make it double sided so first what we're gonna do is open the door make sure it is in the open state then we're gonna put uh, sticky pistons exactly the same as the very front layer so you can use that as a reference so one sticky piston here two on the sides if you recall and then three at the top pointing straight down you can take your blocks again and just place them all the way fill in the frame just like that now we're going to go to this side this is the side with the repeater pointing into the block diagonal from here three blocks like that with redstone dust all the way in. It'll probably break, but we can fix it later. Take your observer from where this block is. We're going to put an observer pointing straight up. Take your note block, and now pretty much everything else is exactly the same. Note block here. Observer there. They block here. Take your block out. Place one here. Put the redstone dust right there. As you can see, it's exactly symmetrical. And then you can copy this layout of observers again. So we're going to have one pointing straight down with a gap of air right here. Make sure you have a gap of air right here. If you don't, it'll break the door. And then that's actually it. Take your block here, put some dust there, and there. Now if you see any blocks that are sticking out, break them and place them back into where they belong. Hit the lever. And you can see that is double sided. That's pretty cool. Before I go, I'm going to show you guys how to connect the door to like a button. So we're going to break this lever here, and we're going to put a repeater that points into the block with the redstone torch. Take a redstone block, place it right behind the repeater. Take a sticky piston, point it like that so it points into the redstone block. We're going to go one block away, have an observer that points into the sticky piston, and then another sticky piston into the back of the observer. Now pretty much every time you power this back p piston with a button, it'll open and close the door. So how you connect that is let's say I have a button somewhere inside my base, right? And then we're going to go to the opposite side and we're just going to connect it with redstone dust all the way until it reaches this piston. Just the button there. You can see it'll close and open. And then I have another one on this side. Button here. And redstone dust that just connects all the way. Like that. There you go. That's how you connect the altar. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a thumbs up? But thanks for watching.